Hey guys, so this is St. Patrick event at Seaport. So, let me get right to it. The new wave of update. So, there's three destinations. You can collect shamrock, pots of gold, and horseshoe. Uh, and then you can trade these at the marketplace for experience. Don't trade it for fish. Don't trade it for wood. Don't trade it for stone. Maybe trade for iron, but trade it for experience because that's event is that's what it's all about and gems for achievements so experience Experience with horseshoes and if you and do the other two for the achievement for gems You got me good the resources are depletable, so once you do finish collecting resource from it, if you actually do, the destination finishes, so you have to use the other destinations. I guess I might finish the horseshoe at this rate, but I'm guessing right now. Um, they give you captains as usual, I'll say pick the, the, the best event captains that you can get with gold are pretty good usually they're, they've never disappointed uh, thus far in all these different events so uh, we'll go to that they added the ships from low 65 to 100 funny thing is I never tried to buy a lot of ships when I was at a lower level because can you keep buying new ships it costs a lot of resource so you actually don't want to buy that much ships until they're good enough of a gap in terms of uh, improvement I'll take a look at it but no guarantees I say you should buy them <laughs> they added two new ships to the to the shipyard okay me not not buying new ships they, they just seem like clones they don't even feel that much better HMS resolution increase in terms of cargo I don't know how much that changed I wish they put it here okay let me show you if the game would work with me now nope, the game froze again the second time recording this um, anyways if the map is here if you imagine the map being here instead of a frozen image of the dock you will see there's a sunny meadow down to the bottom well well south east 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 of your home port it's a little bit hard to make out, just move my little mouse. This is your home port. This is where you get the little shamrock. This is where I always get the horseshoe at the stable. And up north where uh, I can't see anything is the pot of gold. There it is, the end of the rainbow, pot of gold. This is, you know, if they ever, ever fix this, I'll, I'll like it. Okay, so with all the little uh, not working images aside let's jump ahead to my little excel sheet very ugly but it works if I can just make it bigger there it is bigger enhance enhance <laughs> enhance oh, okay so this little table here is what I have used the data collected from the seaport wiki and put it into here and calculate the numbers and as you see well let's talk about the, <laughs> the experience and coins and all the other useless stuff first is that you do not want to get <sighs> coins 25 not really good though your one hour your one hour port should beat this and the other events is so much better earning gold coins than this event and this event is very tailored to experience in my opinion especially the horseshoe yes like if i look at this it's easier to make a million coins than a million xp so xp it is because these are not that different really uh, stone is you can get 10 stone or 30 30 experience no stones aren't just worth it no unless no I, I don't see a way how you can 
you'll be able to send ships to these spots. And you can say, I would rather want fish, stone, or even iron. It doesn't make sense. Um, because, well, I hope all of you listening would have your uh, dock production facilities making our upgraded good enough and are always pumping out resources that these don't make sense at all. Don't make sense at all. And wood 60 wood? Mm, no, not in the long term. If you want to if you want to do well long term, you want to have lots of ships. So higher levels. Higher levels needs more XP, so lots of ships. Okay, enough. Enough about this. Spend five minutes talking about the intros. Let's get to the real real numbers that matters. So if you if you trade for experience, Shamrock level one give you twenty experience per cargo per hour. But if you go to pots of gold, it'll be forty. And then if you go to horseshoes, eighty. So you wait. So you're saying, wait. If you go collect horseshoe, you're getting twice as much in terms of time, twice as much experience to gold and four times as much almost four times as much experience as shamrock obviously um, if you're if you cannot send uh, your ships to horseshoe that's a problem but if you can you want to send it to the horseshoe and if you can't send the horseshoe you, you want to send it to the pots of gold so try to send it to horseshoe if you can't send it to pots of gold and if you can't go to shadow send it to shamrock there's no reason to pick the other two the lower two, if you can send it to Horseshoe, other than achievements, but I'll go to that later on. And if you look at the rest of the levels as you go up, it's a no-brainer that you want the best. The Horseshoe first, <laughs> Potoko second, Shamrock. Okay, and you need to say, you know, what, what about the, the crew? Like I, I can send it there, but uh, my crew just get drained immediately. It just goes down like a drain well that's true it does cost more uh, crew over time to send your ships there so each ship here if every ship I send there to horseshoe and then to go to the market how many times it's all calculated on average to actually get up one horse every time you send a ship to collect horseshoe and then you send the ship to redeem the, the horseshoe for the experience it will cost you roughly 70 crew every hour every ship so if if i have 30 ships in my port uh that will be 2100 crew every hour sustained so this is it's it's an actually a number i cannot sustain horseshoe demands quite a bit of crew to get this granted if you lo haven't logged on for the last two hours, roughly one one and a half hour, two hours, your crew is full anyways. Then send it, send it to Horseshoe. I do, but after a while, I can't keep sending it to Horseshoe. It will just basically all the crew's gone. Pots of gold is another alternative. Funny thing is, it takes one hour to send the Horseshoe to come back. The say that's the same for Shamrock to collect the item, but the pots of gold takes two hours. So take that into account when you do want to be away for two hours send it to the pots of gold because look look at this you get twice as much experience compared to shamrock but the crew is even lower in some case than sending it to shamrock sustained where horseshoe yeah you got all the crew send it all over you get all the experience so it comes down to send the horseshoe if, if you have if you have the ships and you have the if you have the fleet and you have the crew to back it up or in the beginning and then once your crew is going down it's like oh no all my crews are gone then uh send it to pots of gold now let's i hope you guys uh, get the one trying to get here let's get to uh show you some of the numbers um these are the numbers i used to calculate in excel so crew requirement for shamrock is really really low in the beginning 30 40 i'm sure everyone can do that at the minimum once you can do the mission you will be able to do this uh, pots of gold takes a 50 in the start it's okay not that not a lot but 
horseshoe takes a hundred when you send it there. So if your if your ships can't go there, which part of my fleet can't even go to horseshoe to collect them because they're below a hundred. I, I have a few ships. I'm using I'm using the ships like crazy though. If they ever break, they will have they will have uh, they will have been <laughs> replaced a few times already. But ships are immortal in Seaport until you put it in the museum. So. Uh, they take a lot of crew. Like you can send, a f I can't even send my whole fleet there, and all my cr all my crews is down the drain. I go from like three thousand crew, almost four thousand, to like a thousand. Okay, just to give you a look here. This is all, this is on seaportgame.wiki.com. If you ever want to refer to it, it's a very nice site. Uh, but let's look at the achievements. The achievements. <laughs> every every time. Uh, there's events there's always gems and achievements and this is the reason why I've said earlier why it matters uh, to collect some of these I wouldn't say lesser but less interesting um, destinations to go to these destinations and collect these I guess shamrocks in this case you get uh, let's see 2,000 four, if you collect 4,000 Four thousand shamrocks, you get fifteen gems. So my fleet can carry roughly uh, has a cargo capacity of around thirteen hundred. So and the multiplier is around oh boy, don't do math on while making a video. Roughly less than one time, I'll say like a quarter of my fleet there, I will get fifteen gems to get here, get to level three. That's good. The second one a little bit harder. So notice these numbers. Um, there's no f uh, hard and fast rule about this, but usually I look at the ones that I'm most interested in. I will do it even without the achievements. So obviously the horseshoe. Yay! Um, and then collect all these. Then decide. Okay, um, I'll probably keep collecting horseshoe. So I'll probably get to up to here, very close, the last few uh, level three. However, these are all 15 gems, if you noticed. So, as much as I want to collect horseshoes, sending my ships to pots of gold might make sense on a crew perspective. So then I save crew over time because I just can't send to horseshoe all the time. So this will also be, I, will, I should be easily get to. I should easily get to the second 15 gems. I don't know about the last one. It's too early to tell. That's why I've made, I usually make these videos at least like two or three days after. Today is like the fourth day. My apologies. Um, but I really get a much better idea of how viable I can make, at least for me, to collect these gems. Because these are important. They're, this is why uh, you see me with uh, like 20 hundred gems over time because these add up 15 15 15 so there's 9 times 15 so technically you can do 15 times 9 and you can get 135 gems just from these achievements I don't think there's any other achievements in this event nope but 100 135 gems is 135 gems uh, and I like to collect them so this we should uh, at least. Uh, I think I'll at least be able to get most of them. Maybe at the minimum two or three. So thirty gems here, thirty gems here, and then forty-five gems here. So sixty, a hundred and five. I'll and very easily get a hundred and five gems out of this. Maybe not the last one, but definitely the first two because I've already got the first one. Is this frozen? Yeah, it's still frozen. Oh, not the movie frozen. Um. Where is the achievements? No, it's not working. Oh, it's working. It's working. Part of the game is working. So you can see, four days in, and I'm at the second one. Actually, now that I think about it, I will get all of them because I'm already here. But notice that the difficulty goes up quite by quite a margin. And it comes down to, do I want the gems now? Or... Do I just want to keep collecting horseshoes? But I think I will keep collecting horseshoes for quite a while. Once I hit here, then I'll 
by the time the event is near to a close, I might just finish a few more and then just collect these 15 gems. So I think this concludes all the stuff I was talking about. It's been 15 minutes. Quite a lot of talking for not a lot of, not a full-blown event. So uh, I hope I've given all my thoughts on it and they're informative. If there's anything, feel free to put it in the comments and I'll try to answer it. I hope the Excel was good and I'll see you guys next time whenever there's an update that's substantial that I will give you. I hold no liable, <laughs> I, I, I hold no liable, uh, liabilities if these numbers are ever wrong. I did do the math to check it uh, by paper. Uh, so thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm out. Goodbye.